can't even remember the last time I was out here. It's definitely probably been close to a year. Uh, I'm out in the Bedford, Altoona area. Uh, I know there's a lot of distance in between those, but you know, I never really know where I am. I just follow my map. So today I am searching for the last few spots in my whatnot Halloween sale, uh, Boo Fest. Awesome name, by the way. Unfortunately, by the time this video posts, that will have already passed, but I'm already looking for poodles. Well, already looking, also looking for poodles and deer. I have a lot of themed sales coming up. I'm also looking for my weekly variety sale. There's a lot going on. So hopefully I find some stuff to fill those last spots in the Halloween sale. It's been very tricky. You know, I take my theme sales very seriously and no, I'm not going to stop saying that. <laughs> so let's go in and see what we can find. I have a big day planned ahead. First thing I see, of course, is this huge case of head vases. I'm taking it shelf by shelf. Uh, I see there are a few Rui productions. They kind of range all over the place in price. The older Relpo ones are definitely priced at retail. But I love this little Anesca one. That's at 25. I think she's a name card holder. Uh, what else is down here? Oh, there's some good ones. That's a hobbyist one, 25. Again, um, I'm pretty cheap for what I pay for these because I kind of feel like the prices are all over the place. Sometimes they go really high and sometimes they kind of flop. I love the Miss Dainty one. She's at 40, that's a really good price for a collector. I do see she's got a little couple nicks actually, so I don't wanna mess with that at 40 bucks. And then the Umbrella Girls, I just had one of those recently. I don't think I've listed it yet, actually, now that I think about it. And those don't sell for as much as me. Uh, I'm kind of picky about picking them up. Uh, a lot of the times the umbrella base is chipped and they're missing the umbrella. Both of these do have the damage. And so I'm going to pass. I might pick up that little Inesco girl. She is so cute, but I got to keep my eyes on the prize in the meantime. Another couple things that uh, catch my attention is the Coin Dot Creamer and Sugar. That's at 25, that's a really good price. This Fenton vase back there is amazing. That's at 65. Now, I've been getting more kind of broad in what I pick up. That is really pretty. I kind of feel like I could make some money off that. I'm not the most familiar as I'm not like the biggest glass person, but I've definitely been trying to branch out more. Um, I might look that up. I'm not sure. I think I just like it. <laughs> I love that color. Well, this entire aisle wasn't here the last time I was here. Uh, I did see a bunch of stuff I liked in the cases, but I'm kind of anxious to get out there and fill these Halloween spots first. This is really pretty. I feel like $20, that's a really good price too. Oh, I have a tendency to go a bit overboard here. So I'll probably end up doing uh, two loops, especially because I'm hyper-focused on Halloween, even though I've picked up everything but what I'm looking for so far. These are really pretty. It's 45 for the pair too. A few things over here. I love the giraffe teapot. The head base is at 37. That's about what those sell for for me, 26, yeah. And I love this little children's uh, tea set. It's incomplete and at $17, so I don't really wanna mess with that. Plus, I've never had much luck with the children's tea sets, to be honest. I've only picked them up a few times, though. Okay, so here we go. Here's a little sign of, oh my gosh, I love him. I'm not sure about the popcorn. I feel like I see the prices all over the place. Um, if I were to do it, I wouldn't spend that much money on it. And a lot of the Halloween is looking on the newer side or hobbyist. I already have a bunch of hobbyist pieces in the sale. So I'm trying to find some true quality vintage Halloween items. Ooh, I love this color. $40, just kidding, that's pretty too. What is this? Is this what I think it is? Is this a little earring holder or a mirror? Oh my gosh, how cute is that? 
At 28, I feel like that's probably about what I'd get for that, but it's so, so special. You might think I'm going for the rubber face monkey, but I'm actually going for this. How fabulous. 1994, that's really funny looking. I love these little rabbit salt and pepper shakers. I've had these before. I think I had an older version, 15, yeah. Something, yeah, I don't think I can spend that on that. <laughs> I think mine sold for like 20. Now I'm also part of a dog train in October. This is so cute. I like the one with the polka dots, six bucks each. Totally fair, um, but I'm more into what's happening here. <laughs> Again, it's easy for me to get distracted because I know what booths are coming up and I know there's a lot of super awesome kitschy stuff. I was gonna go ahead and pick up these snowmen. It's got a little bit of, uh, oh my gosh. Oh, broken, both broken, dang. Now the music seems to be really loud over here. Um, vintage left in Angel. I think something must be wrong with her because she's at 15 and all the other ones are very on retail. Some really hard to find ones in here. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with you. Oh, how fun. I love the vintage plastics like this. He's definitely got some damage. I have to know how much it is though. $9, $10. Oh, I don't think I can do that with the uh, damage. Now I've also been hoarding ornaments and snowmen because of my 12 days of Christmas event, which is happening December 1st through 12th. Snowmen can be hard to find. This one's at $4. How cute. It's got the original little foil Japan sticker. I'm a little uncertain. I'm being picky. I swear, no matter where I go, the booths I like to shop the most always have the uh, freaking radio blasting. Now, this says $34. Is it for the pair? Yep, sold. Wow, that's awesome. I love these. Okay, and then we have the fish at 15 for the pair. I'll take those two, thank you very much. I can't lie, I don't even know where to begin. I do think I'm unfortunately gonna have to cut my camera off. It's very loud over here. It's like to the point where I can barely think. I love that. Um, check out this situation. Wow, okay. So this one's at 30, which seems like a lot, but I've never seen it before. This one's at 20, and I think I'm gonna pick that up. Now, we also have poodles down here. The poodles, ooh, what's this? That's so cute. That's at seven. Oh gosh, I need to regroup, I'm pretty overwhelmed. This one's at 38, that's definitely a little too high for me to pay for resale, 30, that comes to $10 each. So that's a no for me, that's cute. This one is at, what are the little blue poodles at? $10 as found, yeah, they have damage. What about this one? 15, I'm not married to it. This is quite fantastic. Unfortunately, it's pretty broken. And then I can't help but notice this guy. 13, that's fantastic. That one's at 13 too. What about these? 40, that's a no. 450, that's cute. It's got a little nick on it. Um, wow, there's a lot going on here. It's so loud. Now I am gonna address a couple of the things I'm not picking up. I'm not picking up this set at 30. Um, I'm not a big fan of the black and gold. I've had it before. It doesn't do as well as some of the other colors. I love the Chalkware Owls. It's 17 for the pair. Totally fair, but more than I'd like to pay. Now this Lucite Trivet, it's $10 and I've had a few like it very recently. So I'm gonna let that one go. And then the other thing that I'm passing on are these bluebirds. This is a more common set. They're missing their noisemakers. 
and have a little bit of damage to them. Um, I know I can make money off of them, but not enough to justify. I also really like this. Uh, I'm a little on the fence about it. Now I am gonna go ahead and pick up this set. This is definitely a harder one to find, the flocked ones, and they're pretty popular. I usually do really well with those. I know I'm paying up for it, you know it's good. And I know this has a little chip, but a 15 for the pair, I don't really mind. I really wanna pick up this set, but I think at $30, it's a little close. I know I could make a couple bucks off of it. I'm just really hesitant to spend that much on one item, especially because I already have a few higher dollar items in my basket. Smiley face situation happening. A lot looks contemporary. Yeah, those are new. This one looks like it might have a little age. Plastic, new, new. This is fun, even though it's new. Yeah, TJ Maxx. This is fun too. Again, new, and it also weighs like 100 pounds. It would cost a lot to ship it. Oh my gosh, look back here. We have Dalmatians, but one of them stands out, of course. Oh my gosh, can I even fit back here? These are at 12, the salt and pepper shakers. They're so cute. Um, definitely a better set. I love the eyelashes. I've never seen this size. They're normally a little smaller, um, but with the paint loss, I don't really wanna pay 12 bucks for them. So far, all the Halloween stuff I've seen is either new or a no-go, like the candles. I don't do the candles. There's too much that can go wrong. And look at the prices on these guys. I can't. If it was like a dollar, I might risk something happening to the candle. But even so, I'm nervous to ship it. Wait, oh, I thought that said $7, the tambourine. Yeah, 95, that's more like it. Halloween is so expensive, you guys. A few things here catch my attention. The deer, $8 each. This is a cool candle holder, 25. It's got age to it too. I think it's a little bit more than I'd like to pay for resale. I would definitely buy that for myself though. $20 a pop on the Merry Mushroom. This is quite fabulous. I never see that color. Um, what else is going on back here? Now, I know a lot of the prices here are closer to collector's prices than resellers, but they always have such special pieces hiding in between. $12, I love the towel. Oh my gosh, like this. This one's at 25. Oh, I wonder if I could get away with that. I think I could still make some money off that. That's pretty special. Hmm. It's a lot to front. It's pretty great though. It kind of looks like the comparables are anywhere between 35 and 70, which is quite a big gap. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a gamble on this. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put it in my ocean back to the beach sale, which already happened, or in my variety sale. I'm gonna hold on to it though, cause it's really fantastic. I know I'm paying up for a lot of stuff right now. This kind of caught my attention too. Like the colors on that, 18, no can do. I need to stop paying up for as much stuff as I am. Although I do think I'm gonna do really well on these items I have still. Ooh, I love this. I had one of these, it sold for good money. 819 though, that's that's more than I'd like to pay for sure. I can't seem to get away from this blaring radio. Is this Italian? Yeah. How cool. Italy Duck Bank, $12. How fantastic is he? I'm on the fence about that one. I'm bypassing a million things. I think this is a repop now that I'm getting closer. Dang, it totally is. Yeah. Oh, these always get me. Two dollars, so cute, ah. Maybe I'll do it anyway in my deer sale since it's only two bucks. I feel like I can start it really cheap. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, um, let me regroup. There was a lot of stuff in this booth. Wait a minute, is this say $19 for the pair? What? Uh, is there repair? No, and they have their whiskers and their fur. We're definitely gonna go ahead and take these. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. 
All right, and the little frog and mushroom earring holder. That's at 10, that's really cute. A little bit more than I'd like to pay. This is neat. It's new, but it looks retro. Ah, okay. Um, first of all, the little single deer shaker. That's at 10, that's so cute. That's a really good one. I love the Holt Howard strawberries. Nine bucks, there's a little spot of paint missing here. But still, ah, I'm getting crazed. And I still haven't addressed the situation back here. Um, I'm still really frustrated trying to find Halloween stuff. This is huge, I don't wanna deal with that. And it's a hobbyist piece. I'm kinda done with the hobbyist pieces for now. I feel like I have enough. I am gonna go ahead and pick this up since it's only two bucks. Is that a crack? No, it's not. Yeah, that's cute, I'll just take it, whatever. Um, what am I doing? A little Amberina. I'm taking a break from that booth because I'm just really trying to find some Halloween stuff. This is fantastic. This is at nine. I think I might pick this up for the dog sale. The dog train, it's got a little bit of wear, but it's so fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Now, I unfortunately haven't been able to show off as much as I'd like, because it's insanely freaking loud a lot of places. This is so weird, 2004. Um, what's, what's this down here? <clears throat> Meh. Oh my gosh, what is this? How strange. $18, dang. Oh, I wish I could get my hands on it, it's so good. I'm kind of rushing to get out of here. They just turned the music up yet again. Uh, I am going to go ahead and pick up these three Norcrest cat figurines for 12 That's a steal. What do we have down here? $7 each. And no obvious nicks. We'll take both of those. Thank you very much. And we're also going to go ahead and take this fabulous cowboy cat at $10. He does have a tiny little nick in his ear but that's a really hard one to find. I think my last one sold somewhere between 35 and 40 bucks. And then I also can't help but notice the little donkeys. That one's at five, this one's at seven. Why is this one at five? I don't know. But I'm just gonna go ahead and take both of them. That's a really good price. Lots of kitschy fur stuff. Well, I'm very pleased to announce that it doesn't seem that the radio seems to uh, reach this far. This is such a fantastic poodle. These are really hard to find. It is oversized, but it's pretty easy to ship these. $19, these usually sell for around 47 for me. I love that this one's the giant neon one. I'm kind of tired of paying up for stuff, but oh, I'm on the fence. I really want to pick that up. Let's see what else they got, because I am looking for poodles. Bunch of owls over here. Owl planter. Three dollars. Sure, I'll take that for three dollars. Um, this is funny too. No one can be wise on an empty stomach. It's kind of heavy. It'll cost a lot to ship. Another hobbyist piece. Oh wait, look at this. Oh no, those are not what I thought they were. Those are actually re. No, they're just filled with sand. Yeah, they weigh like 100 pounds. Oh, dang. And then a dog situation happening over here. These are hilarious. These are at $3 each. Used to go Pekingese, I'll take that. And then this little guy, he's pretty cute. The little six. Yeah, I'll take him for the dog sale too. More cats. A little Siamese one with the rhinestone eyes. It's got a little damage on its ear. So cute though. Yeah, they're all like three bucks. That's got damage on the ear. Let me make sure these Pekingese. Ooh, look at this little strawberry shortcake jar. That is so cute. Don't forget the love. That's adorable. Five bucks. Yeah, you know what? This is super cute and kitschy. I love the pattern on it. And for five bucks, especially because it is glass, I think I'm just gonna stop being weird and scoop it up. I feel like there's no room. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's a sketch. Another cat shelf. It's missing parts. 
There's one that's complete over there for 12 bucks, but it's not as exciting as some of the cats I've found already. Oh my gosh, look at this little squirrel thing. That's so cute. Three bucks? I'll take that. It's adorable. Totally nuts looking. Pun intended. Now here's another thing I kind of want to pick up. The skunks on the chain are 12. Wait, what is this camel? Oh my gosh. Five dollars. USA. He is fantastic. We have to get him. I've never seen that before. Um, it's just paint loss right there, but it seems under the glaze, so I'm not that worried about it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on the skunks. They do have a little bit of paint loss. This is really cool. Interesting. Really different. Uh, I'm noticing the vinyl oil cloth dog too. That's cute, $12. Those haven't been doing as well as they used to for me, so I'm gonna leave it. Speaking of awesome pieces. All right, there's a few things going on here. The poodle plate's amazing. Definitely too high for me to do anything with for resale. I've never seen the Holt Howard Apple candle holder. Now there's a weird cat thing. Oh, it's $36, dang, it's so amazing. The little, I think it's German. Um, also the elves. How many are you there for 75? Five, can't do that. That's about retail. Again, a lot of this stuff is gonna be at retail in this booth, but they have such fun stuff. I love coming to look. Every once in a while, I snag something epic too. That's epic. That's only 25. I feel like those have depreciated in price a little bit. 24, totally fair retail price. Again, too close for me. This fabulous acrylic flower. Oh my gosh, I'm such a sucker for this. Oh, that's so cute. What's happening over here? Look at this fabulous thing. $20, I love those fuzzy head people. And then this looks like it's missing its salt and pepper shakers and is broken, so we can't. Ooh, lipstick holder, paper mache, pin cushion head, $20. Let's check this out. Face crack sealed. Oh, it does have a crack. I was gonna say, this booth is usually pretty uh, on the money. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Ah, oh my gosh. Ah. Okay, there we go. This guy is pretty great too. 28. Um, look at this guy. How fantastic. 45, yeah. Fabulous though. I ended up spending $172 in there. I did put back that fish wall pocket. Unfortunately, it had a little bit more damage than I had originally noticed. I think I did pretty well, even though I ended up paying up for a few things here and there. Uh, unfortunately, no Halloween either. So the day is young, it's only my first stop. I'm gonna get in the car and I will see you guys when I get to, uh, what is that place called? I don't know what it's called.